south of where we live on this island. If you can see behind me, there are a bunch of totem poles. We are at the Alaska Rainforest Sanctuary, which is a place that does tours during the summer. But one of our good friends is a carver for the company and invited us out today to do some filming. I thought that I would bring you guys along and kind of show you all the different things we do. And that was my goal of this channel. So today we are gonna be filming my buddy Kevin carving his new pole. It's a Raven origin story pole. It's 15 feet. His uncle carved all these poles you see behind us. And first, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has been joining us on this adventure. And second, I'd like to say, you know, like, like the channel, subscribe to it, give it a thumbs up because that definitely helps us. And sorry, I kind of messed up shaving. So now you get to see me for a little bit more clean shaven and not very Alaskan looking. Yeah, I figured we would just go along and, and head in and we'll check out what Kevin's doing. Here are three common totem pole misconceptions. Myth number one, these poles are created in individual sections and stacked together. Nope, that's debunked. For example, this pole that our friend Kevin is carving today is one log from one red cedar tree. Myth number two, we've all heard the low man on the totem pole, slang for low status, least important, possibly even shameful. We're debunking that one again too. That's not a thing, not true. In fact, you could argue the exact opposite. This was invented by comedian H. Allen Smith in the 1940s, and unfortunately, it's stuck. Despite not having any credibility or ties to Native American or Alaska Native customs. Myth number three, totem poles are connected to a particular religion or they're worshiped. Debunked, while the animal depictions on the poles can often be of a spiritual identity embodied or eternalized, the pole is not used for religious reasons or meant to signify any specific religion. So I said, uh, hello, my name is uh, Nanum Gaff, which is my Simsia name. I'm from the Raven Clan. I'm from Metlakatla, but I live here in Ketchikan. Working on a uh, 15 foot and one inch uh, uh, red cedar pole, and it's the origin story of Raven, how uh, Raven came to be. And it should take me about one, one more month at least to get it all finished up. So, so Mr. TikTok, yeah. tell all my 60 YouTube followers what you're doing here. Uh, just taking down, there's a female figure here. So I'm just uh, carving out this negative space uh, to create some separation between this giant human figure and this human, this female figure here. Today I'm playing with my new 85. This is an RF lens and it is an F2. Um, thank you for Kevin for letting me be here, play with some new equipment, watch yeah. him doing some carvings. And for anybody who doesn't know, what actual camera are you using? Canon R5. Canon R5, baby. So if you can see, here's the raven's feet, and Kevin's got it starting to be carved out there, and he's got the wings, and he has started on the face, and the beak will be added in as its own separate piece. And you can see he's already got the drawings here on the wings, so you will have an idea of what the, it'll look like as he progresses through this. 